Before the music and the moves of many feet down Fayetteville Street, people eager for a great seat staked out their spots. Some outside the Raleigh Avenue News Center, where the temperature dipped so low. I was not ready. I wish I'd brought a blanket. Where are you from originally? Um, I'm actually from Canada, so I should know better. <laughs> and despite the bundled up early arrivals, Chuck Hansen said, It's fair, right? <laughs> Raining. You got a jacket on. The breeze so strong on this day that for people like me and some other folks who remember this, it felt a lot like Chicago, the Windy City. The difference, we don't dye any rivers green around here. But a lot of people wear green, including a young man whose first name is the same as the Saints. I love it um, since we're, we're Irish and we come here almost every year. This parade is the first in the city since an out of control truck hit and killed 11 year old Haley Brooks as she performed in the Raleigh Christmas Parade. The city established safety guidelines that include age limits for participating drivers. While that is on the minds of many this chilly Saturday, some people appeared eager to get off the streets, except Ricky Murphy. With 32 years on the job, often in cold weather, he responded this way to cold weather critics. Ah, you get used to it. All you gotta do is just keep moving around, walking around, and you don't feel it. He may be right after seeing participants like ABC 11's chief meteorologist Don Schwenneker, who do not appear affected much by the big chill here. Reporting from Rob, Anthony Wilson, ABC 11, Eyewitness News.